Welcome, friends and neighbors. It is me, Reyna, your friendly neighborhood witch of what the f***. And I am excited to kick off the December Piggy Switcheroo. You'll see this is an unusual style for me, one that I haven't ever shown on any of my social media, except for that one time at PoorCon that I got to do pendulum painting with Cole Newman from Cole's Colors himself. And that was rad. I was completely covered in black paint. Not that that is anything out of the ordinary for me, but it was in my hair, on my hands, all down my clothes, on my shoes. And it took like six trips of, oh, trips? Six wipes, six baby wipes, to get all of the paint out of the grooves of my shoes after I had like walked barefoot like five miles through the hotel from where we were in the classes to my room. That was interesting. Anyway, the pendulum painting's really fun and it caught my attention, so I've been enjoying doing it ever since. You know, it's that whole uh, pitting in the pendulum thing for you fellow Edgar Allan Poe fans. Except with this, I kind of just stayed in the pit. Which isn't the pits, surprisingly. It's kind of a nice pit if you like art and like getting exceptionally messy, which I do. It's a good time. Lisa agrees. She also likes getting exceptionally messy. All the paint today I am using is Glidden Premium Interior Eggshell. On this first painting, the background is a swirled mix of TLP's Galaxy in black paint, and it is swirled with TLP's King of Pain, which is like a navy blue in black paint. The lines are pure white. It's pretty simple, even when I add piggies. See, all I do is go to Home Depot, pick out a paint card, and then have them make it, and then blend in a full jar of piggies every time. I don't really know the specific base number, except the pure white is just base one, and you'll see that I use that for my lines quite a bit. You're also probably looking at this and thinking, do I see texture or am I having a stroke? Honestly, I think the chances of you having a stroke right now as I say that are probably pretty minimal, so let's just say you're not. Well, you do indeed see texture, and the piece looks a little bit like raised bumps. Um, not to worry, it's not contagious, not a rash. Uh, but that is because I paint over my pieces to make them more interesting, and so more texture shows up. You know, quite the opposite with skin. Have you ever noticed how many filters we use to make our skin look nice and smooth and yet I'm like, hey, I want this to look rough and bumpy and raw and nasty. Nobody ever thinks about their skin that way. I mean, I sure don't. On to painting number two. This one is raw canvas that has been primed with the pure white as the background. And then for the lines, I've mixed TLP's Sapphire with navy blue paint. There's a pretty big difference between a white or a light background with dark lines or the dark background with the white lines. I'm kind of interested to hear what you prefer, what you find to be more visually striking. I think that there's a lot that can be done with any of these, be it uh, a little bit of airbrushing of translucent paints on afterwards or, or using alcohol inks, something that is translucent that won't cover up the white and the black. You know, I wouldn't want to use opaque unless I was going for a really specific effect. But I've often thought about how cool it would be to add some different color washes or splashes on these pendulum pores. Have you tried that? Show me, I would love to see it. Just, you know, write a comment and tell me your Instagram so I can go check it out. I have two kittens in my lap right now. Um, for anybody who's followed me for a while, you have seen Jack in some of my previous videos, my big fluffy gray boy. I loved him dearly. Uh, Jack got sick and very unexpectedly left us in September. Well, we went catless for about a month and, and believe me, we were absolutely devoted to Jack, we loved him, we doted on him, and uh, we being my husband, John, uh, Mr. WTF, and I, and we just like could not go without cats. So I put out a call on social media that we were ready for some cats, and we were looking for, you know, two. We wanted two kittens, and an old friend saw my post, and he showed me these two adorable little cats that had been found on his parents' farm. They were born to a feral mother, and there were three kittens and the mom, and they had caught two of the kittens in a live trap. And we went and met them, 
We absolutely love them. We adopted them, and it's a boy and a girl. There's another little gray boy that looks so much like Jack. His name is Orpheus, or Orpheus for short. And then we got a second, um, or the girl. Her name is Persephone. That is spelled P-U-R-R-S-E-P-H-O-N-E because she purrs like crazy and she's adorable. So they're brother and sister. And we were just having a blast getting to know them, watching them run around our house like crazy little critters all the time. Uh, And about three weeks later, I get a message from the same friend who said, guess what? We caught sibling number three in the live trap. Do you want it? So he sends me a picture of this adorable little jet black cat. And I have always wanted a black cat uh, because Persephone is, she's a tabby that looks remarkably like a cat I had over a decade ago named Casper. So I've got my Jack and my Casper, but now um, how could I ever resist a black cat? And then also how could I ever say no to putting the three siblings back together? The little black cat, we named him Poseidon because it ended up being a boy and That sticks with the Greek theme, and even better yet, I get to call him Poe for short. So now we have three kittens. They're about four months old right now, and two of them are on my lap right now. If you hear purring in the background, that's why. (laughs) All right, enough about kittens for the moment. Believe me, I'll bring them up a lot, and I will introduce them on camera in a future video as well. But for this painting right now, this is actually the same color scheme as the last where I primed the canvas with white and then I'm using sapphire mixed in navy blue paint for the lines. The canvas is just sitting on the ground and I've built this really rad apparatus that kind of looks like a swing set and I suspend the paint can from a rope hanging from that apparatus. I then draw a dot in the very center of the bottom of the paint can, and then with a drill, I puncture it. And then I'm very, very careful to keep it plugged while I turn it upside down, well, right side up, and then hang it on the chain or the carabiner at the end of the rope, and then carefully draw it back to where I want the paint to start, or or where I want the, the motion to start, and then let it go, and then just gravity creates these really cool designs on my paintings. Everyone's completely unique and everyone's like a master of geometry. I mean, my paintings are way better at geometry and physics than I am, let me tell you. Holy camoly. If you asked me to measure something like this, I literally think my brain would go on strike, jump out of my skull and run to the nearest volcano. Fortunately, no one's asking me to measure it, and even more fortunately, I live in Wisconsin and there are no volcanoes anywhere nearby. Not for like a thousand miles at least. All right, friends, this is painting number four, which is basically an exact inversion of the previous two paintings. So for this one, the canvas is primed or painted with a base of navy blue paint that's mixed with TLP sapphire. The lines are pure white. A lot of you are meeting me for the first time because I've been gone for a little bit because uh, um, my poor mother uh, had a terminal illness and I was one of her caretakers and she passed away a couple months ago so I've been tending to my own self. But if you have seen me before, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. I've got a lot of stuff up my sleeve. I've got a lot of footage that I filmed over the last year or so that I haven't had time to edit but after Christmas, you just better watch out because it's coming. Thank you so much to This Little Piggy and Fluid Art Company for hosting yet another fabulous collaboration. I'm so pleased to be part of it. I really do consider all of you a family away from my family. Like when I was at PoreCon and getting to meet all of you, even though my mom had just died like two days before and I got on a plane, like she died on Wednesday and I got on a plane on Saturday. Like everybody was so awesome. And then, of course, I came down with that awful illness that everybody else had. So it's like I was sick and crying, but so many hugs and like so many smiling faces. And so many of you were like the medicine that I needed at the exact moment that I needed it. And I just want to say thank you if you were any of those people who came up and gave me a hug or, you know, offered me words of encouragement during like probably the most difficult time of my life so far. So thank you. 
The final paintings in today's video are a diptych and they are painted with TLP Galaxy, which is like a beautiful sparkly black color in a black base paint. So it's got some sparkle. It's kind of really hard to tell on camera, but if you saw this in person, you would totally see it. And it looks fabulous. And for the most high contrast possible, I used pure white paint. I love a good black and white. It's stark, but it's energetic and it's captivating and it's appealing. There's a lot to be said about black and white. Um, says me, the color queen, uh, gothic rainbow bright as I've been called, painted reina, color everywhere, neons, pastels, jewel tones, basically anything but earth tones. Not my thing, sorry. You may have gathered at this point that maybe this isn't me painting. And maybe there's something behind this whole switcheroo name of this collaboration. I'll let you in on a little secret. You're right. This isn't me. My artwork is going to be on somebody else's channel. So you get to watch all the videos and guess whose art is on which person's channel. So I want to see in the comments who you think this is. I think this person's work really stands for themselves. But just in case, you know, say who it is anyway. I hope that you have a blast watching all of these different videos and guessing just by technique who each artist is. We've all covered our hands, you don't see our faces, and we're definitely not narrating our own videos, so it should be a lot of fun. You'll meet some new people. A lot of you are meeting me for the first time. I love using TLP, particularly in resin. I've really fallen in love with resin art over the last couple of years. I haven't painted in a while. Um, when my mom got really ill and I started being her caretaker, I um, my days off work were then just spent uh, taking care of her, where prior to that I'd be home painting. So if you're interested in any of the things that I've done, check out my channel for my older videos I've just upgraded my laser and I've got some really spectacular projects up my sleeve. Normally I'm just making jewelry for my jewelry business, but boy, the art projects I've got in my head are going to be awesome. So check out my social media below and subscribe so you can see the really off the wall, amazing stuff that I've got coming up for you in the future. I'm so happy to be here and I wish you all a very happy December if it involves holidays or not. Signing off for now, Painted Reina. Thank uh you. -huh.